All right, so good evening, everyone. It's now 7.48 p.m., February 9, 2019. So based on the poll that I created, <clears throat> there are a few people who don't know how to use uh, or how to access Investagrams. All right, so this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to make one, to make an account there. And then... <clears throat> And then I'll walk you through on how to use the <clears throat> excuse me on how to use the virtual portfolio. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to www.investagrams.com. So this is what a little it will look like once the website loads, and I want you to click get started and it will bring you to this area here down below wherein you can click um, sign up so let's do that now so let's say for example uh, we trade is my name then I'm just gonna use one of my many fake email addresses at yeah I don't think I've used this and uh, Let's see, I will just use this a simple password or any password that you want. Okay, so that's my password that I used. <clears throat> yeah. And then click register. Okay. And then it will ask you, so this is what will happen after you sign up. And then you will need to verify your email. But let's see if let's see if from the from here if we can use the virtual port already. So you go to virtual trade and then you go to my portfolio. All right? So once here you have my portfolio. If ever you're going to buy stocks, they will show up here. Records is the records of whatever stock that you bought and sold already. So that means yung mga completed trades lang. Then you have order history for all of the stocks that you purchased. So you can pick um, from what period until what period. All right. The Your portfolio or how much capital you have will be shown here. Available cash. So... In terms of using the system, the QMP system, I advise people to have at least 60,000 pesos. All right, so let's do that. So reset, you click the reset button, and then you click reset again. And then you enter the amount that you want to set as your capital, kumbaga. So 60, 1, 2, 3. Okay, reset. Okay, so successfully reset trading account. You can check the date here for when you last performed a reset. And let's go back to virtual trade, my portfolio. So let's say, for example, we buy, let's say, to go. And then here, the plus and minus is per board lot. Okay, so per board lot. So as you can see here, to go has a board lot of 100. So if I click the plus button, it'll add one board lot. So let's say, for example, we buy 300 shares, click buy, then confirm. If you want to um, create some sort of journaling, you can say, uh, this is my first buy in my new virtual port. Yay. Then click confirm. I'm not sure that's the first time I've done that using the journal. And it will come out here. Now, uh, one thing that the draw, um, it's not really a drawback, but you should know that the market opens at 9.30 a.m. and closes at 3.30 p.m., Monday to Friday, with a lunch break from 12 until 
at 315 to 330 you can, you should uh, you can still buy stocks but you can no longer select the price now take note the time is already 7:53 p.m. we should not kumbaga be able to buy stocks already but um, i guess investagrams hasn't fixed this uh, this th that rule yet so since because we're able to buy and sell shares <clears throat> but we are only able to buy and sell shares at the current price now you may be asking how come negative ka agad yung profit mo well uh, you have to take into account the commissions and fees of uh, your uh, make believe broker right so they followed on average what the what the commissions and fees are and after you sell this then it will also be deducted by the VAT of 12% right and let's say we will buy another stock. So let's say CAEV. So you want to add. So it has a board lot of 10. So if you click plus or minus, it will add or deduct board lots respectively. You can also just, you know, manually input um, the quantity that you want to buy. So you buy, confirm, and it's there. And if you check the order history, you can see the actions that you perform. Ah, nandito pala si remarks. So view more. Okay, so there it is. For records, it's still empty. Why? Because we have not yet performed a completed trade. When I say completed trade, uh, what I mean is you buy one, uh, you buy AEV, and then you sell it. So let's do that right now. So AEV, you want to go to AEV first. So you can just type in the ticker symbol here, and then AEV, and then you jot down or plus minus the number of shares that you want so we want to sell all shares 100 and then you click sell and then you click confirm or let's say you want to say i don't like the stock <clears throat> and let's see if uh, it'll record in the records um, section so confirm and you have successfully sold 100 shares of aev <clears throat> let's check records and it shows you um, your gain or loss. So you have a bar horizontal bar chart here, and it tells you that you lost negative. Uh, you lost 84 pesos in order history. <clears throat> Where did our comment go? So wala, wala si comment. So wait, what's this button do? Okay, so you can view it that way or this way. Hmm, this looks nicer, so I'll do this one instead. Order history, and <clears throat> so our comment did not refresh here. What if we, let's try to refresh the website to see if it shows up. Okay, so order history. Aha, so we needed to refresh the website. So it's here, I don't like the stock. And that's basically it. For Investagrams, um, you have a, so this is your profile on the upper right corner, or over here. Here you can use uh, notifications if um, you can follow these people here. I'm also here if you want to look for me. My name is Weekend Trader. And here you have the charting. You have the screener. So let's check that out. I'll just close some of these. Oh, you need to share a post to Facebook. Okay, so since my fake email address doesn't have a Facebook account, so never mind that. And then you have a free charting platform here. This one actually is a lie. Um, how do you say that? It shows live data. Okay, so if you're looking at the chart and uh, it's a trading day, the prices will actually fluctuate. All right, so what I, since you're, you've already made an Investagrams account anyway, what I want you to do is PSEI, and then I want you to click Indicators, and then I want you to type in Moving Averages. Okay, so this one here, Moving Average. Click that. It'll add the Moving Average line into the chart. And if you look closely, there are three tidy buttons there. So you have the Visibility. If you click that, it'll hide the moving average click it again and it will show the moving average then next is the middle button wherein you want to format 
or change the settings for the moving average and you have the delete the moving average so I want you to click the format button and I want you to go to inputs and change 9 to 100 All right under style and source has to be close so it has to be close offset is yeah, everything else no changes to anything else I want you to go to style and I want you to pick a color that you want I usually for SMA 100 I like to use orange and then this one is the how do you call it the visible visibility or the is it opaque opaqueness anyway if dragged to the right it becomes invisible if dragged to the left it becomes more visible okay and I want and then I'm gonna click OK so why did we add the simple moving average 100 well if you remember in one of our trading rules the very first thing that you should do is to check if the Philippine stock exchange index is above the simple moving average 100 take note every single if you don't know about Japanese candlesticks every single bar here is one day It's an equivalent of one day um, since we're not gonna be oops since we're not gonna be market technicians at all um, you don't really need to learn about it all you need to know is that if the index or the bars are above the simple moving average um, 100 line we begin to use the system so starting in this section here we should have bought already if it falls below the simple moving average 100 like what happened here we will begin to sell our shares and that's that ladies and gentlemen is how we can be how we can overcome uh, mutual funds all right the reason is because if you check my video you'll know the reason why okay and that's it for the tutorial of the investigrams virtual port so let's go back here so virtual trade my portfolio go back there and it's there again now what if you want you made a mistake and you want to start over simply click reset and then click reset again and change it to 100k or 60,000 I want you guys to practice with 60,000 pesos Mona okay so click reset and why is my screen getting darker and voila if we go back to virtual port my portfolio it is back to it's like you know started you start from the beginning again okay and then if you want to log out already you simply click on the upper right corner your profile pic or this uh, panda bear or whatever creature that is and you log out right okay so that's it for now good night and god bless